Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be doing a small review on these Artist Loft acrylic paints that I bought recently. I was at Michael's a few weeks ago and they were having some really great sales. I might have went a little overboard with buying new canvases, brushes, and such, but what can I say? I can't say no when my favorite art supplies go on sale. So while I was there, I came across this huge case of 48 Artist Loft acrylic paints and the colors really just drew me in. The array of different beautiful colors, oh, I was so excited to try them, I just had to buy it and luckily I had a 50% off one item coupon because this box was originally $42 but I got it for $21 which was kind of perfect timing because I was in need of some new paints and I had been wanting to branch off into different brands recently. So it, it all worked out. Um, the one thing that really caught my attention with this pack of paints besides the affordability was the large array of colors. As you can see from the footage before, they have some beautiful pastels and metallic colors and I'm not even sure what I'm going to use all of these gorgeous colors for, but I do know that I'm very excited to play with them. When I first started painting at around age 13, I had gotten artist loft kits and they came with watercolor, oil, and acrylic paints all in one, but I didn't really know what I was doing, so I kind of just used them all together and created this big mess, but it was really fun. Um, playing with them and experimenting with it back then So it's been a long time since I've used this brand and I thought I'd share with you guys a paint along slash review Off camera. I've sketched a quick little sheep um, Why did I choose a sheep? Well, I think they're really cute and I hadn't actually painted one before and An animal painting was long overdue for me. Um, I've been busy with online classes and I haven't had time to paint But I made the time because painting is honestly something that relaxes me and I love it. So as you can see, I'm just going to start off by painting my first layer. I can already say that I like the thickness of this acrylic paint. I use a lot of Craftsmart acrylic paints. I get them from Michaels and they're a lot more liquid based, but I've been using them for years and I love the results I get with them. The Artist Loft acrylic paint is easy to blend as well, which is awesome, again. <laughs> the, the colors are actually pretty exact to the color on the tube too, and sometimes that's not always the case, which can be really frustrating. Off to the side, I'm actually using a reference photo, which is something that I do often to make sure that I'm getting the values, shading, and proportions right of whatever I'm painting. Most of the time, whether I'm sketching or painting, I like to use reference photos, especially if I'm trying to create something that looks semi-realistic. Um, I'll have an idea in my head, but sometimes it's not easy for me to get the image that's in my head out onto paper, so a reference photo here and there really does help out. Even though I do use reference photos, I don't like to create an exact replica of the images that I'm looking at. I try to shape it into my own style and interpretation. Lately, I've been sketching with paint a lot, which has been a really relaxing way to practice my painting skills without feeling pressure that I'm going to mess up my painting or anything, which is something that I actually do feel often. Um, sometimes I'll have the drawing sketched out and I just postpone painting because I really don't want to mess up the image but obviously you just have to jump on in there and if you paint you can just fix it just like Bob Ross always says a happy little mistake <laughs> does anybody else watch his videos because he has the most relaxing voice I have to say I watch him at night sometimes and it just puts me to sleep because he's just has such a, he just has a really soft and calming voice and he's just someone great I think to watch i'm sure everybody's heard of him but if you haven't seen any of his videos definitely do because he gives some really really great tips and i've actually learned a, a lot from him especially on my landscape paintings watching his videos has actually really given me the chance to improve my painting skills and it's taken a lot of pressure off of myself on painting you know you're supposed to be having fun with it you're not supposed to stress yourself out so He's definitely 
a good mentor, I would say. <laughs> but anyways, um, yeah, painting this way has actually allowed me to find new and interesting ways to use colors and brush strokes together. And that's what I'm doing right now, as you can see. Um, for the background, I'm using some light and dark colors to create a sort of cloudy effect. I've been loving playing with brush strokes on my paintings recently. I don't try to blend out the rough edges anymore because I really like the textures and overall look that it gives my paintings. I just think it looks really cool. So right now I'm just going to continue painting the background, blending it out, and I'll be back in a minute. So the background is finished and I used a lot more greens and yellows in this painting than I normally would but I really like the result. I think I was drawn to more natural earthy tones because I was painting a sheep and I usually think of them roaming around these huge green hills in places like Scotland or Ireland or somewhere. Um, right now I'm just adding some more detail into this little guy's fur. Is it fur or wool? Um. <laughs> I think it's wool. I'm pretty sure it's wool, but anyway, I'm just trying to add some more shape into his curls. I'm not going for a very realistic looking sheep here. I'm mostly just trying to be loose with the paint and have fun with it. If I were using oil paints, I think I could really create some cool texture that would make the wool pop out of the canvas. Um, I make the biggest mess using oils though, but they're really fun to play with. If you haven't tried oil paints, I definitely re recommend doing your research first, just making sure you get all the right supplies, but definitely try it because it's completely different than acrylic or watercolor. Off camera, I went ahead and filled in the eyes and cleaned up a few rougher edges, and now I'm just putting the finishing touches on this little 8x10. This canvas was actually something else before, but like most of my paintings, after a while, if I don't have any supplies around and I'm not really fond of the painting i'll just paint over it so that's what i did with this one <laughs> but um i'm using some of those really cool gold and metallic paints to really give the painting some nice shine i like the dreamy effect of this piece a lot and there you have it this paint was really easy to use had great texture and the colors were so bright and colorful i loved the variety of options i had and I think this brand is really great, a really great choice for artists who are looking for a product that is affordable and really good quality. If you like this video, please click that thumbs up button and subscribe for more videos like this. I'll see you guys next time.